Well, this is awkward. If I were actually driving 20 miles an hour, then we wouldn't have a problem here. But I am not moving. That's why, in this video, we are going to calibrate the speedometer and fix it. Yeah, I've got to take my dash apart a little bit, but small price to pay for accurate speed readings. It's pretty easy. Everything just kind of goes pop, pop and it comes off. Removing the instrument cluster is also not difficult. You take out four screws. You unplug three wiring harnesses. Remove the clear cover to expose the speedometer and the other instruments. And then pop off the speedometer needle. Okay, now in order to calibrate the speedometer, I need to get going at some known speed, reinstall the speedometer needle at the right time, and then test for accuracy. If I'm lucky, I can get this right in one shot. Okay, I think I know a place behind the auto repair shop where I can test out my speed. So far, these readings are looking pretty reasonable. Let's go for a test drive. I've got Google Maps open on my phone, which I've stuck in my dash here. Okay, 31 miles per hour, 30. That's pretty close to what the speedometer is saying. So that matches up with the GPS. I'm gonna call this a success.